Were you born into a fat family and constantly blame your fat family for the reason you're fat too? I did too, until I started digging deeper into the research and realized my genetics were not the reason I was fat. So in this video, I'm gonna show you that your genetics are not stopping you from losing fat and give you three ways to eliminate that shit from holding you back. First, we need to determine what genetics are. Genetics are the traits that are passed down generation after generation. You might be more likely to get a disease. You might have black hair. Those are genes that are passed down throughout generations of your family. So can your genetics cause obesity? No, the reason is because your genes are embedded in you. Yet obesity wasn't an epidemic or a real serious issue until the 1960s. And from the 1960s to the early 2000s, obesity went from 13% in the USA to a whopping 42%. Now, before the 1960s, I'm talking way back. We're thinking medieval times, Socrates. Being overweight or obese was actually a sign of wealth and power. So even back then, it was extremely rare and still not an epidemic. Now, because being overweight was very uncommon and rare just decades ago, it's highly unlikely that your genetics are causing you to be overweight. It's far more likely that it's epigenetics causing the issue. And I have some research to help break that down. Now, what are epigenetics? Epigenetics are the way your lifestyle and your environment, the things around you affect and impact how your genetics actually adapt over time. So if you've used the excuse that your parents were fat and their parents were fat and your parents' parents' parents were fat, it's probably not because your genetics suck, it's probably because their lifestyle and their diet and their habits suck. And that gets passed on just like genes do. So what this really means is you probably have a shitty starting point. It might be more difficult for you to start losing weight, but it's not gonna be more difficult for you to lose weight. In fact, there's been two research studies that have proved this exact point. In the first study, scientists actually found an obesity gene. Now, this obesity gene proved that some people's genetics may start them off in a shitty position, but they also showed that it does not interfere with how diet, lifestyle, and exercise helps you lose weight. So even if you have this gene, and your shitty starting point is in fact true, you can still lose weight with dietary intervention. In the second study, scientists discovered an aerobic gene. So they actually found people who were basically just more athletic from birth. They had a gene that helped them with their aerobic fitness. However, they also pointed out that this is one of 22 genes, which means some of these genes can actually counteract one another, and it lowers the percentage completely of who actually has this gene and gets benefit from this gene. Now, to quote the scientists, using this typical genotype assessment process, they actually discovered that only 0.0003% of people actually benefit from this. Uh, what does that mean? It means that based on the population in the United States, there's probably like a thousand and eight people who actually show any remote possibility of this aerobic gene doing something meaningful. Maybe DK Metcalf or that weird kid in the sixth grade always crushed it at the wrestling meet. Probably that kid too. Okay, so you're fat and you've been blaming your parents this whole time for it. And every time you start a diet and try to create change, you throw in the towel and use that same scapegoat. You use the genetics card, but you've realized after watching this video that you are the dealer of this deck and you can reshuffle those cards and begin to finally lose fat despite what your genetics tell you. What do you do now? The first thing you need to do is learn how to change your mindset. Yes, it's that simple because the placebo effect matters. And if you keep thinking your genetics suck, your epigenetics will suck and therefore you won't get great results. And there's plenty of studies to prove this. For example, the milkshake study. They put different calorie labels on each milkshake and depending on which drink they thought they took, their hunger hormones changed even though everybody was drinking the same milkshake. Or the steroid study. They were given sugar pills, fake steroids, and they still PR'd on all their lifts and built a ton of muscle because they thought that they actually took steroids. And last but not least, the most relevant to this one is the aerobic gene study. Groups that did have the aerobic gene were told they did not and groups that did not have that aerobic gene were told that they did. And their results in these aerobic tests reflect more so what they thought they had than what they actually had. The next thing you need to do is develop your habits. Because if you're watching this video, it means you thought you had bad genetics, which also means you definitely have bad lifestyle habits. What I suggest doing is starting small. Pick some easy habits that you can stack up over time. Something like walking, drinking some extra water, or lifting weights. The point is, stack the small things until you make them very big things. Next, you need to track some metrics. Research shows that individuals who lose weight and actually 
keep it off, track their progress as time goes. So when they weigh on the scale every day, they track their macros, they record their PRs in the gym, that's self accountability. And it creates awareness that allows them to progress as time goes on. So as much as you probably want to blame your parents and say they suck and they're the reason you are still fat, it's kind of true. But the reality is it's not your genetics, it's your epigenetics. It's probably how you were raised and the lifestyle habits you accumulated over time. And it's up to you to change those things so you can change the body you live in. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you personally, make sure you like the video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel for every time we drop a new one.